Hogwarts Legacy Boycott. Let's talk about it. So, Hogwarts and the Wizarding World are trying, or being called, to be cancelled. Now, this is because J.K. Rowling has always been a polarizing figure. She says whatever comes to her mind, whether she puts it down on a piece of paper or types it out on Twitter. Now, if you know like I know, that's a big problem because people take protests when you voice your opinions without any real filter. Well, that's exactly what happened. And of course, for years, they've been going back and forth with J.K. Rowling with a bunch of stuff we are not getting into in this video. But what I will say is now, of course, they look at this billionaire and they go, you know what, J.K. Rowling is filthy rich. Let's not make her any richer. Let's try to cancel everything Wizarding World. So they've looked at me and you, right, and they've said, Burn all of your Harry Potter merchandise. I want you to take that shirt off your back, that scarf off your neck, that tattoo you got, remove it. I want you to take any symbolism or anything like, just go straight like, you know, Order 66 on them, like from Star Wars. Just delete everything, nuke everything, get rid of it, because if you don't, you're a bad person. See, this kind of emotionally charged logic that you have a problem with somebody else, and now I have to remove all the things I've purchased, doesn't make sense to me. Like, I'm not, I didn't buy those things in a bad place. I bought them because I love the franchise. And I think a lot of people looking at Harry Potter Hogwarts Legacy, we're just buying it because we love the franchise. Like Hippogriffs, for example. I would love to ride on a Hippogriff. That, that literally sold me on the game, flying around on that beautiful majestic beast over sunsets and horizons that are ever expanding like that is so cool for a lot of gamers being able to choose your path whether you're a dark wizard that gets to do a killing curse or you're a good wizard of light you have so many different options you can choose from any different preset it starts off where you're not like locked in to traditional you know roles of like you have to be this linear character from the series. And I think that being able to create your own character is just a whole new branch of the wizarding world to really create something we've never seen before or experienced. And I think a lot of people are appreciating that aspect of it. And so on the one hand, you have this whole like behind the scenes thing happening, but then like all us regular fans are just kind of like, we just want a game. We're so desperate to get like a new open world, really awesome masterpiece. And everybody's like telling us how bad we are, wishing us death. All this kind of nonsense because we just want to play Hogwarts Legacy. And my thing is, can we please just get to a point where, you know, regardless on what your opinions are, whether they're one way or another, nobody is talking about politics here. We're talking about a game, a video game, fundamentally at its core. If the game isn't doing anything or saying anything or promoting anything negative, I don't understand attacking people who want to play said video game. Like, I mean, okay, if it, like, I, I literally was on Steam the other day. Real story, true story, okay? You can do it right now. There's, like, literally a cotton-picking simulator. If games like that are allowed to exist without any boycott or any movement, why on God's green earth are we, like, literally trying to cancel the Harry Potter Wizarding World? I don't get it. Like, it's so bad. Like, they're literally trying to say, like, they shouldn't build Epic Universe and they shouldn't add the Wizarding World part. Like, are you out of your mind? Like, we go to theme parks to interact with, like, all the cool little things there and, like, to look at the Wizarding World, the breathing dragon throwing the fire out, like, go to the Green Gods Bank and, like, see the pretty chandelier and, like, all the cool stuff that's there in the Wizarding World to feel like you're a part of this universe. And for people that, like, have this, like, I must cancel everything I disagree with or I don't like thing going on with them, stop. Because most people aren't there like we're we're dealing with inflation we're dealing with like we're trying to escape right avatar was like really great 4dx fantastic i had a ball but now i'm looking for something else and the wizarding world of harry potter really seems to be that next thing that a lot of people are looking to escape from this hard time from and i think a conversation on both sides is something that needs to happen instead of like this one side remove your tattoos burn your scarf, don't you dare buy this game or you're a bad human being. And, you know, all the stuff that we're seeing happen, is it's, it's, it's scary to say the least because even as a content creator, even making this video, I don't feel like I can say anything about it. I feel like if I talk about it, I'm just immediately labeled a bad person no matter what, and I can't have a voice whatsoever. We're, we're in an equal society, supposedly, on social media. Like, it's all about equality. We're allowed to be and celebrate each other's differences and all that fun stuff until until Hogwarts Legacy comes out and then like do what I say or you're a bad person like I just don't understand and so for me with the whole boycott situation I don't think it's very fair also yes okay even if let's say JK Rowling said some horrible things that you totally disagree with and you don't want anything to do with okay fine 
that's between you and her, in my opinion, but it doesn't really matter, right? Fine. Um, but what about all the other independent artists on this project? What about the graphic designers and the editors trying to feed their family before all of this stuff even took place, right? These games take years to develop, not days or months. And these people have been working on this project likely before this J.K. Rowling situation boiled to this tipping point for a lot of people. And it's not very fair to these people who've worked very hard, the musical composers putting together the score, everything, the licensing, everybody involved in this. They've really sacrificed a lot to create these products in a game on this scale with so many different people involved. It's not fair to look at just one person who's already a billionaire, right, and say everybody else who's not a billionaire on this project should just suffer by a boycott that they didn't necessarily have anything to do with. They're just visually creating stuff. They're designers, they're editors. And I, again, as a creative, I hate when people try to destroy creative processes because society is about creation. You know, we're, 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 we love our fantasy worlds and all that fun stuff. And again, my biggest point is this. If you really believe that this game is just not for you and you don't want anyone to buy it, okay, I support you 100% in you not buying the game. If you don't want to buy it, power to you. I think that should be your decision to make. You have the right to make the call for what's right and comfortable and best for you and power to you. But I also equally feel everyone else has the right to make those calls for themselves, whether it's morally, politically, uh, you know, video games, movies, it doesn't matter. You have the rights to make your decisions for yourself. That's what being a person is about, right? And I think that's something that's being lost now. It's something so special about human emotion where we can be human, truly human, right? Where we can have emotions and display them. And yeah, sure, part of that process is upsetting one another. Part of that process is stepping on a couple of toes and really upsetting some people. But I think it's, it's learning from that process and, and hearing what the other side has to say that had them arrive at that conclusion, we'd maybe learn some new things about the other person that gives us new perspective. And I think open dialogue is the only way that happens. Closing everything off, demanding everything be canceled, everything be banned, you know, Again, the fact that they're calling for people to remove tattoos, that's very extreme. Those are permanent things. They did it because they loved the wizarding world. And I just I just feel like at this point, we have to get to a healthier point in society where we can have true conversations, where we're not looking for a gotcha moment. We're not looking to destroy a franchise. And again, this is a video game. We're coming there because PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, we want to have fun on these devices. A PC, for example, myself, I'm looking forward to all the crazy mods I can install. I don't know about you, but like, I am waiting for Nexus mods to come out with something crazy cool. Like, bro, could you imagine if like maybe they put a dragon in there or a Drake, as we call them? Like, that'd be really freaking cool. I don't know, man. I, I just, I think if we can stop with a lot of the man Drake behavior, right? Little Harry Potter joke there, okay? And get to more of the, the Knights of the Round Table kind of thing, or like, you know, that, that'd be really cool, because I think communities are formed with people, right? No one person does it alone. We are all together on this, trying to figure out how to respect each other's boundaries. But again, there's a difference between boundaries and then flat out just like taking a band hammer to everything and saying, you're canceled, you're canceled, you, you, you there watching this video too, me, everybody, everybody's canceled because you, you don't, you don't, you don't like support the movement to ban Harry Potter Hogwarts Legacy or Hogwarts Legacy. Like a Harry Potter mod, I guarantee was coming for this game and that'd make the game even more fire for me. Or like everybody in the cast, Hermione, everybody would be so cool. Like, bro, like, I am so excited for this game. It's not even funny. And it, it's, it's for nothing more than the fact that I can lose myself completely in the world of Harry Potter. They've got Fantastic Beasts and the old stuff, the prequel stuff. And you get to learn about a lot of stuff that wasn't in the films. And I think that is so cool for a nerd like me that grew up reading those books Right, we're talking like back when they first launched those books. I had one of the first original copies, reading it from cover to cover, waiting for the new releases every time they came out with one. And you know, the book fairs and all that stuff where you see the cool little Harry Potter with the engraved letters and stuff like that. That's what created love for this franchise. And I think talking to people more about this franchise and about this game, you'll understand that we really just love these characters and we've connected with them over the past decades. And and I think that's what something uh, that's something that can't be broken that easily. And I think so again, instead of thinking everybody that supports this is one way or another, just try to understand like it's a fun franchise. It's about fun, you know, and we would love for you to come out and have fun with us, but if it's not for you, we respect that. But again, we're not doing it in a bad place. We're just trying to have a good time. But that being said, I want to know your thoughts on the Hogwarts legacy 
boycott and all this stuff. And again, hey, if you want to have an open conversation, by all means, let's have one down below. We'll be respectful of each other, keep it civil, and have fun. And as always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching the number one brand in honesty. Till the next video, see you guys later.